Hey everyone, it's Helen Griffin here and thank you for joining me today. So today's the first video of the new mini album die series and we're going to be concentrating on the hinges and the binding. So um, I did have a little bit of um, a few words to say on this in, in the previous introduction video so go ahead and watch that if you want to. I'll make sure that it is linked at the end of this video in one of those little boxes. Okay, so we are, I've got one here that's already made up, this is the larger one and we're going to be making up the smaller one today and I'll be showing you exactly how to do that and we'll also be attaching our outside covers which are, um, I'll, I'll discuss that as we get to it. So here I have the small ultimate binding and here I have the large one. So this is all available at Craft Stash and everything that I'm showing you today will be linked down below but this is basically a quick um, instructional video on how to get the um, binding put together. So let's grab the dies from the small one and the large one is exactly the same. So here we have our curved spine cover. So this is an optional extra, you don't actually have to use this. So that is just for decorative purposes. And here we have the actual dies here that are going to create our spine. So if you're not using this one here, this um, die here is going to create the outside um, outside of the spine for you and the hinges are going to be glued onto the center of this one so you need to cut out from cardstock two of these and three of these and we do have some notches here as well so you can trim these down to size if um, you wanted to make a five inch album or um, a, sorry a six inch a five inch or a three and three quarter inches so we'll also be bringing out new album sizes as well so we've kind of taken that into account right so Another thing I do want to add is when you put these through your die cutting machine, do tape these down so that they stay in place. And I would definitely recommend adding your tape along these strips here. So one on each side. So you would add one along this strip here and then another one. This is uh, just, just um, masking tape. This is low tack tape. So so you add it along the long edges like that and on this one here add them add the tape along that edge there and then when you're cutting these ones add your tape here and here so I've got all mine pre-cut and ready to go so let's just quickly tidy up and I'll bring in my pieces of card okay so I have the larger piece there and three of the small ones so everything is all scored for you it's all tapered it's all ready to go so all you have to do is use a bone folder I recommend a bone folder for this so this is really quick and easy there's no calculating and writing down numbers and referring to your written down numbers once you've um, got them you can literally just go ahead run them through the machine and then glue them together so we're now ready for gluing so I'm going to be using Cosmic Shimmer one of my favorites it um, is nothing like PVA glue it's a wet glue and basically it's it dries clear it's called Cosmic Shimmer but it does actually dry clear and it also dries pretty fast as well so it's absolutely perfect for your 3d projects I use this on my boxes mini albums because you know you're not going to be um, standing there for, or sitting there for ages holding everything down so this is our central central one we're going to put this first one in the center So I'm making sure that it's equal top and bottom and that it is straight because if any of these hinges go in wonky you are going to have wonky wonky pages which is probably not the best look to go for so I'm just adding some more glue here so we're going to add this one to this edge here and if you are wondering about these lines I did briefly go into it in the introduction video so basically you can trim up these dotted lines to change the size of your binding if you have a particular size you want to go for so you really won't need to um, adjust these 
for using um, this binding with the mini album dies but when you move over to the larger one which I have here you may need to cut these down to size if you want to use it with any of the gift bags and things like that and the uh, landscape gift bag album and yeah the, uh, the landscape album so let's I will also be if that confused you don't worry I will be going through all of that throughout this series so I don't want to overwhelm you and overload you with too much information in the first video so I kept it I kept it quite basic for the introduction and we're just going to be going along step by step through the videos right so that has got caught on my sleeve so here what I'm doing is I'm gluing this right in the center of this gap here so I have even spaces throughout all of these hinges and then I can press that down so here we have our binding ready to go I'm going to set that aside it won't take long to dry I've just wiped a bit of excess glue off there that's absolutely fine if you want to use a red line tape I do have some here I've got a whole bunch of tapes here uh oh I need to get some of this paper they stick together there we go okay so this one will do this is a quarter inch I think yes oh no it's three eighths of an inch so that will work perfectly on the underside of each hinge if you wanted to use red tape um i've in the past i've used a combination of tape and glue just for that extra strong adhesion let's move this aside and now let's go over to our pages sorry our covers i say pages because this album this um album die will do the pages and the covers so here we're going to be working with the portrait album die set and this is going to make an album of this size it's going to have six pages in the middle and it's going to have two outside covers because there's, there's eight hinges alternatively as you can see it's got a flat edge here created by this back part here so you can actually put that into a wrapped hardcover which we will be working on in a later video. So first off, we are going to be working with this die here. I've got mine two cut out, but I will show you what the die looks like. Here we go, this is the die, and this is what's going to create your page and your covers. So I've cut two out of the cardstock, and I will probably cut the rest out from patterns paper. And the other die set that works exactly like this is the MIDI album die set and you will get a page this size from that and that is also going to work um, with the small binding as well. So those are the die sets we're going to be working with today. So it'll be the portrait album die set and the small ultimate binding. So I've cut two of these out from cardstock. I've used um, Creative Expressions. I think it's 220 GSM. This is the Foundations card range and I absolutely love it. It works beautifully with my dies. So what I've done is um, this die will do the cutting and the scoring. So all we have to do now is glue those together so first we're going to just glue the flaps down so there's one flap on each section again you can use red tape if you want I find it quicker to use glue as you can see that is holding so I can now leave that aside to dry and now let's get the other tab on and then squish that down okay so you have two open sides here so this long side here is going to slot onto the binding and this top half here is what can create a pocket so you can actually glue this shut but um, after you have to do that after you have added the cover on to the binding and then glue it shut or you can leave it open I like to glue mine together last because I, I sometimes I might want to tuck something in there or create leave it as a pocket or create a flap or something that I can hide 
the um, the hinge in for that inside there. So I like to leave those open because I like to keep my options open. So let's move over to the binding now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push these all to one side and I'm going to squish them down with my bone folder. And then I'm going to move these all again over to the other side. So we're just exercising them. This is what, what is going to help our pages turn really nicely. Do it again. So we're just encouraging all of these folds just to go left and right. Okay, so we'll have all these in the middle here. So we're going to be working with the two outside flaps. And what we're going to be doing, I'm going to add some glue. Again, you can prep all these with red line tape. Um, I wouldn't use ordinary normal score tape or anything like that. It has to be super strong. Um, you also need to know um, if you've used tape before whether it will come apart. Um, I have had a few projects where my tape has come undone after a month or so where it seems to have dried out. So this is why I just use the glue because I've never had a problem using the glue. So I'm adding glue all the way up to the score line there. Hopefully you can see that. You can probably do a neater job than me. So I'm taking the first cover and I'm sliding that on and then I'm laying it down flat. So I am getting a bit, getting a bit of excess glue here. So what I'm doing is I'm sliding that on and resting it up to the score line. I want to see the score line, otherwise if your score line is hidden, it, your pages aren't going to work very well. So let's just check on the other side, I can see that has gone in okay. And now I can press down, and if you have any excess glue, you can just rub that off, and if you have one of those special um, eraser things, you can just uh, rub that off if um, it's the mono eraser by Tombow. Um, like a sand eraser. Once that's dried you can just gently rub that off. So here we have our back cover that is on already and now we're going to add our front cover which is going to go on like that. So just make sure that both of your openings are on the same side. So I am actually going to work upside down for this one so I am going to pop it on just like that so I'm going to keep that orientation the way I need it to be otherwise I will glue that on upside down. I have done that before, made a made a upside down book and all the all the um, pockets were at the bottom and all the papers were facing the right way up so yeah scrap that one okay I think what I did was I just glued all the pockets shut and just had a um, an album without pockets okay do exactly the same I can see the score line gentle press check the back that all looks good so now I can just press that down use a bone folder and get rid of any excess if you really don't like glue just use the red tape but it may take a bit more practice um, getting everything exactly in the right place because I know that using the red line tape really really had to get it first time okay so that is the basic album done so we have our covers just like so and we have our hinges all ready for our pages so um, in the next video we are going to be covering um, the pages on the inside so I'll be just using the same die that I used for the covers and I'll see what else I can stick in with that video as well so um, with the spine I'm going to prep this as well so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fold the two outside score lines because this has lots of score lines throughout it hopefully you can see that that is going to help it curve so you should end up with something like that and now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my finger in like that and then I'm just going to gently curve that around I'm just gently pushing like that and that is creating a bit of a curve so do it on the other side and then it's towards the center and you should have something that looks like that okay so I'm not going to add that on because I want to keep my book nice and flat while I decorate it and have it open and add the pages because this is curved 
And then what I do when um, I always decorate the outside of my albums last. So before I add my papers and the inside is finished, I will glue it on either side of the front covers and then we will have a decorative thing. So you can have an optional uh, bit of felt in there or something nice or a bit of fabric or something like that. And um, or you can literally just, um, you can use an edge die along here. Um, this portrait album die set does have a lace die there so you can actually put this on over your paper and then use one of these dies over the top just to cover the edge so there's loads and loads and loads of options on how you can put this album together so thank you for joining me today and i look forward to showing you how to put the pages in